Hello Beacons, I am here to show you how to compose or write an email to a teacher. So when you open up Google, you can click on your waffle, or if you see this icon right here, looks like a letter envelope, that means that that's opening up your Gmail. So if you click on your waffle, you can see the icon right here too, and that's another great way to get to your Gmail. So once you are ready to compose a message or write a message to your teacher, you can click on this word compose and it will open up a new window. You can type in your teacher's name. So let's say your teacher is Arlie West. So I'm gonna type in West until I see my teacher's name and I'm gonna click on his or her name. And then I'm gonna look down here where it says the subject line. The subject line is what you want um, your teacher to know this email is about in just a few words. So you don't want to write your entire message here in the subject line. You just want a, just a few handful of words. So let's say I want to ask about today's homework. So I'm going to type in today's homework. That's all I'm going to write in the subject line. Then I'm going to go down to the next uh, area in my Gmail and I'm going to type my message. So to type a message, I am going to say, Dear Miss West. And then I'm going to put a comma here. I am not sure how to add my numbers for today's homework. Will you help me please? And then I'm going to press enter and I'm going to close my email with thank you and then I'm going to type my name. All right. So what you'd want to do is double check that you are sending this to your teacher, the correct teacher. You only have a few words in the subject line and then you're sending your message here in this big white space. So once you're done reading over and checking to make sure that your email is good to go, you'll press the send button send here. Okay. Now, if you need to attach a file, let's say something from your Google Drive, you can do that by clicking on the paperclip. If you need to insert a picture, you can do that here too. Um, here's your direct um, drive location, your icon here. Um, but if you don't need to worry about any of these things, then just ignore these icons down here and press send. I'm going to do that now. And my teacher now has the email. There's one other way that you can send an email, and that is through Google Classroom. So let's say I'm going to click on my waffle again. I'm going to go to Google Classroom, and I'm going to click on my teacher's classroom. And if you see where it says people over here at the top, I'm going to click on that. And here's my teacher. I want to email this teacher right here. So I'm going to click on this little envelope icon and that's going to open up my Gmail account and it's going to let me send a message directly to my teacher through Gmail. So I can type in the same message. Today's homework. Dear Miss West, I'm not sure about my homework today. I need help. Writing. Thank you, Harley. And then I'm going to press send, and that's going to directly send it to your teacher as well. So those are two different ways that you can send emails to your teacher. Remember, in the subject line, you only want a few words, and then you'll use the white space below to type your message. Let me know if you have any questions.